Good morning, Primary 4. How are you? I wish you all are fine. Back again to the second term, and let's see what will be our lesson for today. Unit 1, Lesson 3 Adding and subtracting fraction having different denominators. The last lesson we talked about how to add and subtract the, uh, fractions that have the same denominators. Okay, but today we will talk about adding and subtracting fraction have, having the different denominators, not the same denominators. Let's see. Okay, adding fractions with different denominators. I have a rule. What should I do? First, find LCM for the old denominators. Okay, all denominators you have, find LCM for them. Number two, change fractions to fractions with common denominators from LCM. Number three, add the new fraction. Let's see an exercise okay, or an example. Okay, for example, question number one, adding the following. A, 5 over 8 plus 3 over 4. Here, the two fractions have having different <coughs> denominators. 8, 8, and 4. Okay, so what should I do? First, the rule said, find LCM for the new, uh, for the denominators. I have 4 and 8. Okay, 4 equal 2 multiply 2. 8 equal 2 multiply 2 multiply 2. So LCM for 4 and 8 equal 2 multiply 2 multiply 2. So the answer will be 8. So my new denominator will be 8. So I write down 8 plus new denominator 8. Okay. I will take the new denominator divided by the old denominator. 8 divided by 8 equal 1. 1 times 5 equal 5. Plus 8 divided by 4 equal 2. 2 times 3 equal 6. So the new fraction will be 5 over 8 plus 6 over 8. So the same denominator, yes, so I can make plus very easy. Right fraction, denominator down is 8, 5 plus 6 equal 11. So I write up 11 and down 8. So the new fraction would be 11 over 8. P, 4 and four, 1 over 4 plus 3 and 2 over four, 5. Let's see. Okay, 4 and 1 over 4 plus 3 and 2 over 5. Okay, the, the whole number will get down or still as it is okay so i write four and three okay the new denominator what what will be the new denominator okay i'll find lcm for four and five four equal two multiply two five equal five multiply one so i will take two two and five so that will be five multiply two multiply two equal 20. So the new denominator will be 20. I write fraction 20 and the other fraction 20. 20 divided by 4 equal 5. 5 multiply 1 equal 5. Plus 20 divided by 5 equal 4. 4, 4 multiply 2 equal 8. So the new numbers will be 4 and 5 over 20 plus 3 and 8 over 20. It's easy? Yes. Take the whole numbers together and the fractions together. Whole numbers 4 plus 3 equals 7. Fraction dash down the denominators are 20 and 20. So I write down 20. 5 plus 8 equals 13. So the the answer will be 7 and 13 over 20. Okay. Subtracting fraction with different denominators. Rule find LCM for denominators to change fractions to the fractions with the common denominators or the new denominators. Number three, subtract the new fractions. Okay, it's the same exactly like 
uh, adding fractions with different numerators. Let's see an example. Question number one, subtract the following. 2 over 3 minus 1 over 6. So, the numerators that I have are 3 and 6. So, I will find LCM for 3 and 6. 3 multiply 2. So, the answer would be 6. So, the new numerator would be 6. Fraction dash down 6 minus 6 now. 6 divided by 3 equal 2. 2 multiply 2 equal 4. 6 divided by 6 equal 1. 1 times 1 equal 1. So, the answer would be 4 over 6 minus 1 over 6. It's easy? Yes. Derivative 6. 4 minus 1 equal 3. So, the answer will be 3 over 6. Okay, I will ask you a question from the, the last lessons, okay? 3 over 6, is it simplest form or, non -simplest or not simplest form? Yes, 3 over 6. Okay, in my mind, I will say 3 equal 2 times, uh, sorry, 3 times 1. And 6 equal 3 times 2. So I have common number between the two numbers. Yes, here is 3. And here also 3. So I can say divided by 3 up, divided by 3 down. Equal 3 divided by 3 equal 1. 6 divided by 3 equal 2. Now it's become a, a simplest form. Yes, it's become a simplest form. Okay, let's make this more clear like this okay and I write it again that's 6 and your 3 equals 3 multiply 1 okay okay let's see what's after okay another example 3 and 1 over 5 minus 1 and 1 over 6 okay as in the a in plus the same in minus I write down the whole number as it is 3 and 1 Okay, I will get LCM for the, the two denominators, 5 and 6. 6 equals 3 multiply 2. 5 equals 5 multiply 1. The LCM will be 30. So the new denominator will be 30. 30 divided by 5 equal 6. 6 multiply by 1 equal 6. So I write 6 over 30 <coughs> minus 1. 30 divided by 6 equal 5. 5 times 1 equal 5. So the answer would be 3 minus 1. Give me 2. The whole number is the first. Then the fraction 6 over 30 minus 5 over 30 will be 1 over... Sorry, it's a mistake. 1 over 30. Okay? Okay. Let's see what's after. Okay, it's an example for you. 6 minus 3 and 5 over 9. Okay, I'll ask you a question. I said before, 6, that's a whole number. Can you write it as a fraction? Yes, it's very really easy. How? Okay, I will search for a number. <clears throat> I will search for a number that if I divide it by 9, the answer will be 6. Okay, or... I will do another thing. Why? Because if I search for a number divided by 9, give me 6, the answer will be as a fraction. Okay? And now I have a mixed number, a whole number and a fraction. Where should I get the whole number? Okay. I will say something. Between two brackets, 6 equals 5 plus 1. That's right. Okay. Minus 3 uh, over and uh, sorry, it will be <clears throat> three and five over nine. That's right. Okay, okay. Five. It's a whole number. I will take it as it is. Five. One. I write it as a fraction according to this denominator. So I write out nine over nine. Okay. You get it again. Six equal five plus one. Why one? Because I want to write this one as a fraction according to the next denominator I have in the next fraction. Okay? And I want also to get a whole number as a mixed number, all the number. Okay? So I will set 6 equal 5 plus 1. Get down 5 as a whole number. And 1, write it as 
<coughs> 9 over 9. Okay, so minus 3 and 5 over 9. It's easy now? Yes, it's very easy. Okay, <coughs> let's see. 5 minus 3, the whole numbers first, equal 2. Okay, okay. The, the fractions are the same derivative, so I write down 9. 9 minus 5 equal 4. So the answer will be 2 and 4 over 9. Okay, it's easy. I think it's easy. Okay, it's an exercise. Find the result 2 over 3 plus 3 over 4. Okay, can you do it? Okay, I'll help you. I'll solve number 1 or letter A. Okay, I will see. L or 3 equal 3 multiply 1. 4 equal 2 multiply 2. So, L, C, L for the two numbers. 3 times 2 times 2. It will be 12. Okay? Okay. So, the new numerators will be 12. So, I will make a dash 12 plus 12. Okay. 12 divided by 3 equal 4. 4 times 2 equal 8. Okay? Okay. The next fraction or the second fraction. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. 3 multiplies 3 equal 9. So the answer will be down. 12, 8 plus 9 equals 17. So the answer will be 17 over 12. Okay. Here, keep or take care of. If what did the question say? For example, find the result. Just to find the result. Sometimes he said, find the result as an improper fraction. Sometimes said, find the result as a mixed number. Okay? Okay. So, take care of the question, the head of the question. Read it one more time or more than one, more, one time. Okay? And find the result. Okay? Okay. I think P, C, D, it's a very easy try to do it by yourself, okay? Okay, thank you for listening and have a nice day. Goodbye.